Padre Pio, Model Priest, Saint of our time, Saint Pio. These are some of the teachings of Padre Pio of Pietrocina, a saint of the Franciscan Order of Mary, who suffered the stigmata or wounds of the law. He was passionate about the sufferings of the Passion, agony and death of Jesus, which he lived in the Holy Mass. Pray, hope, and don't worry. Worry is useless. God is merciful and will listen to your prayer. Not to love is like wounding God in the pupil of his eye. Is there anything more delicate than the pupil? A thousand years of enjoying human glory is not worth an hour in sweet communion with Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament. Prayer is the best weapon we have. It is the key to the heart of God. You must speak to Jesus, not only with your lips, but with your heart. In fact, on some occasions, you must speak to Him only with your heart. To lack charity is to fail against nature. Love that is not based on truth and justice is not love. In the spiritual life, he who does not go forward goes backward. It is like a sheep that must always move forward. If he stops, the wind will blow it back. To be tempted is a sign that the soul is very pleasing to the Lord. Divine goodness not only does not reject the repentant, but seeks out even the obstinate. We should always have courage. And if any spiritual languor comes upon us, let us run to the feet of Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament and place ourselves in the midst of the heavenly perfumes, and we shall certainly recover our strength. If the poor world could see the beauty of the sinless soul, all sinners, all unbelievers, would be instantly converted. Beneficence from whatever quarter it may come, is always the child of the same mother, of providence. It is necessary to protect all your senses, especially your eyes. They are the means by which all the fascination and enchantment of beauty and voluptuousness enter the heart. Let not be crushed by the cross. If its weight makes you stagger, its power sustains you. The cross is the banner of the elect. Let us not be separated from it, and we will sing victory in every battle. Time spent in glorifying God and in caring for the health of the soul will never be time wasted. Remember that the devil has only one door to penetrate our interior, the will. There are no other secret or hidden doors. There is no sin if there has been no will to commit it. My past, Lord, I entrust to your mercy, my present to your love, my future to your providence. Fear is worse than evil itself. We must be courageous in order to be great. It is our duty. Life is a struggle that we cannot give up, but we must win. Learn to hate your faults but always with serenity. There is no time better spent than that which is invested in sanctifying the soul of your neighbor. Only one thing is necessary, to console your spirit and to love God. Sometimes the Lord allows you to experience the weight of the cross. He who lacks love wounds God in the most delicate part of his being. Sweet is the yoke of Jesus, light is its weight. Therefore, let us not give place to the enemy to insinuate himself into our heart and rob us of peace. Trust in divine providence. Be sure that heaven and earth, believe me, will pass away before you lack the protection of the Lord. Lean like Our Lady on the cross of Christ and you will find relief. 
abhor temptations and do not dwell on them. The most beautiful creed is the one that blooms on your lips in the darkest, most sacrificial, most painful moments in which an infallible will to overcome continues to animate you. It is the creed which, like lightning, dissipates the darkness of your soul, which, in the thickest of the storm, lifts you up and leads you to God. The key to perfection is love. He who lives by love lives in God, for God is love, as the Apostle says. Charity is the queen of virtues. As the stones of the necklace are strung together by a thread, so are the other virtues by charity. If the thread is broken, the pearls are scattered. The same thing happens to the virtues if charity is lacking. I will do more from heaven than I can do here on earth. Let us go up to Calvary with the cross on our shoulders. Let us not doubt. Our ascension will end with the heavenly vision of the most sweet Savior. If the devil still prowls rapidly around you, Rejoice, it is a very good sign. The devil is like a rabbit dog on a leash. Beyond the radius allowed by the chain, he cannot bite any more. Stay away from him. If you get too close, he will bite you. When you pass in front of an image of Our Lady, say, I greet you, Mary. Greet Jesus for me. Walk in simplicity in the path of the Lord and do not torment your spirit. Be also to the impulses of grace following its inspirations. Walk amid winds and tides, but with Jesus. The suffering of physical and moral evils is the most worthy offering you can make to the one who has saved us by suffering. The soul is like a battlefield where God and Satan never cease to fight. It is necessary to open the doors of our soul wide open to the Lord, to surrender it totally to Him, to fortify it with all kinds of armaments, to illuminate it with His light, to combat the darkness of terror, to clothe it with Jesus, with His truth and justice, with the shield of faith, with the Word of God. Only this way will be triumph against the enemy. In order to clothe ourselves with Jesus, it is necessary to strip ourselves of ourselves. The angels envy us only for one thing. They cannot suffer for God. Only suffering allows us to say with all certainty, My God, see how I love you. Neither in thought nor in confession should we remember the faults already manifested in previous confessions through our contrition. Jesus forgave them in the tribunal of penance. The justice of God is terrible, but let us not forget that His mercy is also infinite. The souls who love Jesus must try to resemble His eternal and divine model. Jesus came to feel alone. In His humanity, He wanted to experience the incomprehensible sorrow of feeling abandoned even by His heavenly Father. With the study of books, one seeks God. With the meditation, one finds Him. If Jesus manifests Himself, be thankful. If He hides Himself, thank Him too. May Our Lady, clement and merciful, continue to obtain for you from the ineffable goodness of the Lord the strength to face to the end of trials of love that will befall you. Always think that God sees everything. If we were to know the merits that we obtained from temptations patiently endured and overcome, we would almost exclaim, Lord, send us temptations. Today's society does not pray. That is why it is falling apart. You must remember that you have in heaven not only a father but also a mother. So let us turn to Mary. She sold sweetness, mercy, kindness, and love for us because she is our mother. If you like this video, please give us a like. Subscribe to our channel, The Work of God. 
share on social networks, and don't forget to leave your valuable comments. God bless you.